the condition that um, some upfront money must be paid before the mine starts uh, production, production. I think it's a legitimate uh, consideration. The amount is something that must be subjected to uh, a negotiation based on a realistic circumstance, uh, you know, realistic uh, uh, assessments. Uh, but the principle, I, I believe, I support the principle because, um, you know, Bougainville is so rich, the Panguna mine, the resources are so rich, uh, and, and yet the people are so poor. And I think it is only fair uh, for the developer and for the government of Bougainville and PNG to find adequate funding to help the people re, 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 um, regenerate some of the lost uh, um, things of the past before the mind starts operating and and it would also give them that psychological affirmation which they need uh, to uh, to feel that they have the right of ownership not only of the resources but the right of ownership of the benefits we we must also become beneficiaries and i think um, you know um, the resources are there uh, based on uh, an assessment, I think an adequate amount of, uh, maybe not 10 billion, but an adequate amount of money should be um, found or given to, to deal with some of the developmental problems that we have. As you know, uh, Panguna is in the mountains. They don't have any coconut, uh, cocoa, as we do on the coast. And yet, when the mine opens, uh, everybody will be running to Panguna and to the landowners and praising them and thanking them. I think we should do something before the mine operates, starts productive production. But is it just for development or is it also to say, sorry, we did something wrong in the past and, and okay. this is our, our way of saying sorry? Thank you, thank you for that uh, reminder. I think that is uh, a very important cultural uh, consideration in the Melanesian context. Um, people fight and kill one another, but they come together and re, um, uh, make peace and uh, accept reconciliation. And part of the, part of an important uh, integral part of the reconciliation is to pay compensation. And that compensation can, is subject to negotiation. Uh, and and that, that works in the Melanesian context, you must have compensation. Now, the 10 billion, the amount of 10 billion has been mentioned. Um, it has to be negotiated. Would it have been good, even just for a gesture, if, if BCL had put some money on the table before? Because this is what other people say as well. They feel it maybe a little bit insulting that they're talking about reopening the mine and they've never participated, if you like, in this Melanesian way of doing things. They've never made a gesture. Um, yes. Are they aware of that? Is that something you've spoken to them about? We have a culture compliance problem. Um, BCL being a Western uh, mine uh, business uh, company probably do, uh, doesn't fully appreciate the importance of uh, uh, compensation. They probably view Oh, they're probably worried that if they are seen to be giving money uh, to compensate people, they might be accused of accused of uh, trying to bribe or trying to uh, um, uh, carry favor with the landowners. But the landowners are saying, no, uh, our position is clear. We don't want to be bribed, but we do have a right to be compensated. So I think I think the point you are making, and which the people have, uh, you know, uh, brought to your attention, is quite legitimate. I think there's nothing wrong with it's all transparent, you know, BCL, uh, it's government to government, you know, BCL, uh, national government to ABG and its people. Um, it's, it's not as if we were trying to bribe an individual or the president or somebody. 
uh, it's it's a class action thing. So I, 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 I do agree with what the people are saying. What is your view? Do you think that BCL are culpable to an extent? Do you think that, I mean, most people here died as a result of the blockade of the island. Do you think that BCL played a role in that or do you think that was merely a PNG government um, situation? Well, BCL will, my position is clear. I mean, I, I was the member for Boeing for a long time and I made some strong statements against BCL um, and the national government. Um, BCL, of course, retorts by saying we were ready to make, uh, make changes as, as uh, requested by the provincial government at the time and by the leaders of Bougainville. But it was the national government which uh, um, found it difficult uh, because Bougain Panguna Mine was the first mine in Papua New Guinea. Um, I represented the people and uh, consistently and systematically told them that um, we were not getting a, um, an equitable deal from the mine. Uh, now, of course, the uh, PNG government has uh, seen the light and they, they are prepared to accept some changes. But BCL, at the same time, I th my view, um, because of the profits and because of the technological feat that the mine was, and um, they, they probably underestimated the, 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 the uh, seriousness of the grievances the people were uh, feeling and were not, were not uh, you know, were not prepared to um, listen to the people. Uh, and because the people were well represented by myself, by the provincial government, and our views were quite clear. Our views uh, represented the people's uh, grievances and aspirations. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you.